So congratulations, Team India wins a very good victory. Uh, can you say something about this? Thank you very much. And, uh, sorry I ran off yesterday so you didn't get the interview then. Thank you for coming here. Um, yeah, so let's take the games in the, end, uh, in the order they finished. Um, we got into a little sideline of the cash line with White and it was not clear how White should play so she decided to play safely and the position became quite simple and all her opponent had to do was organize her pieces which she didn't manage to do and she sort of collapsed so that was a uh, very uh, very easy win uh, it didn't look anything special for the first few hours but suddenly it just collapsed and uh, we got a free point it's always nice um, Humpy got advantage very early and at some point I thought she should have uh, taken everything but uh, she felt it was a little bit risky and instead she took a lot and uh, she slowly uh, refuted the counterplay and her opponent probably didn't find the best practical chances but it was fairly fairly safe uh, victory from start to finish. Um, Tanya I th think played very interesting uh, sharp variation black and then into Indian and her opponent made a rather gross error early in the opening and after that it was clear that Tanya was essentially winning but it was not easy and uh, there, there was a lot of factors to uh, to consider and I thought she played a, a number of, of very good moves uh, I thought when she took an A3 that was a very good decision um, often in such a position you don't you don't want to allow too much counterplay and you'd rather lose time than try to gain more material but at that point it was right to take the extra pawn the second pawn and uh, there, were, there were other places where maybe I would have played differently um, but now being the, the day after we had a chance to, uh, to check it with engines and although at the board it looked very scary and we we're not sure at all we would talk about it after the game if, if White had counterplay at some point we could see now with engines that, that it wasn't really there um, then uh, we had Harika's game uh, she got very big advantage in the opening uh, a, li a little sideline that went straight through and uh, she missed some things at some point she could have played knight takes d4 and uh, essentially winning a pawn um, and she also had some, some, some other promising options I think she should have taken with the G pawn uh, when Black took an F3 and played very aggressively. Um, but we were already doing really well on board one and three, and she didn't feel that this was uh, the kind of game she wanted. So she chose to take with the E pawn, and well, Black had counterplay, a lot of tricks, and although White was better, it was not easy. Uh, but once she exchanged a pair of rooks and queens she sort of relaxed and immediately blundered by playing a4 and black had this knight d5 move and, and after that um, a few accurate moves could maybe bring the position into a bad but holdable position but instead she uh, has made some mistakes and she was a pawn down, two pass pawns it was just lost and uh, her opponent were visibly very nervous and she played very fast and Harika also played very fast just uh, again I said it the, the other day don't disturb the opponent when they are busy making mistakes so uh, if Harika had started thinking then her opponent would start to think and probably would find a win uh, and for those who are interested the, the final mistake from Black was King E2 which is a useful move in some variations but in some variations it's not so useful and it allowed Harika to come around with the bishop to uh, to h5. If uh, for example she had played g5 then uh, the same bishop f7 and g4 and bishop h5 uh, doesn't work uh, in the same way. Um, but okay we were a little lucky there uh, but uh, luck comes to the ones who seek it out so uh, it's, a, it's a good good victory and uh, we have a lot of board points with that this early stage of uh, the tournament uh, it sort of ruins our tie break because our opponents haven't made many points uh, and uh, the first tie break is the amount of points you scored uh, against the, the number of points the team scored um, but it's a long tournament so 
although we have worst tiebreak on nine points and we could end up having best tiebreak uh, in the end but uh, actually we're just focusing on uh, playing the games and now I know we will play America which is uh, in first position uh, won all the matches we are slight favorite but it's a very good team and it uh, has a very good combination of experience and uh, and young talent and uh, I'm sure it'll be very dramatic and uh, the players are are really eager to play everyone's just nobody's talking about results or anything everyone's focusing on preparation and on playing so uh, so, so so far you're happy with team performance everyone you would never get me to say anything else I can be decided by the outcomes but I will never be unhappy with the performance okay. thank, thank you so much sir. you're very welcome